Hello, my name is Patrick Barry. I'm Director of Wealth at Partners Wealth Group. We are really excited to be celebrating our 20 year anniversary in 2023. Our business has grown to over 90 people with a nationwide presence. And that has been off the back of not only hard work, good luck, but us working with accounting firms to allow them to offer broader services to their clients outside of accounting. I am joined today by Brett Cox and Stuart Major from Proctor Major. They're an accounting firm who Partners Wealth Group has been working with since 2016 to allow them to offer a wealth offering to their clients through our joint venture model. I look forward to speaking to Stuart and Brett today to understand the impact working with partners has not only had on their business, but also on the benefits it's brought to their clients and their overall team. Thanks, Patrick. Proctor Major's been established for approximately 45 years. We like to consider ourselves a suburban accounting firm and most of that time we've been in the East Malvern area. We have a motto of client best interest and we really try to replicate the services that are generally provided to the big end of town by the big city firms. And we do that in a really cost-effective, hands-on approach with our clients. We've got approximately 25 staff now and we believe we, we, we really do provide a holistic approach to our clients and we've deliberately aligned ourselves with like-minded businesses to assist where we haven't been able to provide those services. Yeah, our client base is quite broad. No particular industry do we focus on really. Uh, and we have people at very different stages of life. And, and that's been an important part of building a relationship because we've got young people building a business, growing. And then we've got people who are at the stage where they're looking to retire and plan for their sort of the next stage of life. It's based on a belief we have that with clients, we need to be able to provide services right across their needs. And as accountants, we have a limitation about what we can and what we can't do. So partnering up with Partners Wealth Group meant that we can now give all of the clients the level of service that they need. Because some of them have a very basic need at a moment in time, just accounting, but we have a lot that have much more things going in their life. They want to actually protect their business. They want to help out their children, all of these services we can now provide. So it's really around having a holistic service offering that can meet all the client's needs. So we recognize really early on that as an accounting practice, there's a high degree of trust. The clients come to us looking for solutions around a whole range of needs. And there's a whole range of clients that don't know what they're actually missing out on as well. So for us, we saw there was a position in the market and also a service offering to our clients to ensure that they're, they're holistically looked after and that we're aiming for something broader than just each year's annual tax return. I think losing clients would maybe be an overstatement, but I think we recognise that we weren't providing the full range of services the clients needed. And a lot of the time the client doesn't know what they don't know. So for us, it was about making sure that our approach of that generational wealth, ensuring that we minimise their tax position, ensuring that we protect the family wealth over a broader period of time was really important. Although we may not have lost clients directly, we clearly recognised that they were being underserviced at, at different points in time. Yeah, we can add more value to them through that. And, and also that allows the firm to create greater, greater value as well. So it is, it is a win-win from that point of view. We sort of talk about it internally, like now having a family office where we can provide all of those services to a client. And Stuart's mentioned a number of times about that generational coverage that we want to have. So we, we can do a lot more of that work now, helping clients with their transitioning wealth, for example, from you know, elderly parents across to their children at a younger age and doing a lot more strategic work around that. So they're things that we didn't have the resources or, or couldn't legally deal with some things. And we can do all of that now, which is great. And the concept of the one-stop shop, Patrick, was really appealing to us where clients can come to us knowing that if they're purchasing a motor vehicle, purchasing a piece of equipment, buying a house, assisting a son or daughter with the purchase of a property, whatever it be, we've now got an approach where we've got a solution. So that offering again, in terms of, and the change to our business has been dramatic, where clients now aren't going outside or directly to other institutions, to find the services that previously we couldn't offer. And there's a lot of times that the clients don't wanna handle the back office paperwork. They don't understand the jargon that's being used. They don't understand the questions that are being put to them at different points of, of time. So we, we, we really do hope that we can provide that service, especially to 
the unsophisticated uh, client where we can provide, as I said, solutions around lending, estate planning and wealth creation. The, the benefit of working so closely with your team is that when they need accounting and financial information, we've got it there. So normally they'd have to go back to a client. So we take that piece out as well. That's just Stuart's point around too much paperwork and we try and minimise the client having to do the heavy lifting. We can make it all happen. Yeah, the big thing for us was the deterioration in this service offering, that we wanted to partner with a firm and a business that had the same motto of client best interest. Under a referral arrangement, we didn't have control over the, the relationship. We didn't have a say in the, the service offering. When we met PWG and in particular yourself and Matthew Cassidy, on the back of a referral from our bankers at Macquarie, we could see there was clear alignment with the way PWG and Proctor Major th think, how they interact with their clients and the outcomes they're looking for. So it was quite an easy decision once we could see a meeting of the minds. Um, the mechanics in the background were quite easy to put the deal together. Uh, and, and, you know, six years down the track, we've seen very, very good results for a range of clients um, because we now have an alignment between our service offering and what pro uh, PWG offer. Yeah, I think for me, there's, there's talk when you start a relationship and you presume that that's going to be backed up and it's going to come true. And, and a lot of our discussion was wanting to have a say, have a voice and, and let you know if we didn't think our clients were getting what they needed or if they were you know, getting exactly what they wanted. And the great thing has been along the way, you and the team have been very open to hearing our ideas, even at times adjusting how you work with our clients. And that's been really positive for us. Look, one, one of the clients that I've been working with for approximately 10 years now came um, to me as a high net worth individual and a high degree of sophistication across her family. That group we've been able to work with uh, through Proctor Major Wealth and our advisors to ensure the appropriate structures are in place, uh, to protect the assets, to complete some really, really sophisticated estate planning that's a family which has a child with special needs. So that's provided great scope in terms of being able to, to provide that legacy that the family was after. We've also been able to introduce their, the wealth offering, the private wealth offering, and that's been very, very popular with that particular client. So from where we commenced in terms of her position, her lack of understanding, her lack of asset protection, I think you know six years down the track, we're being able to combine the accounting taxation and wealth offering has now put her in a position where she's been able to really use every facet of that service offering, legal estate planning, um, property referral in terms of direct property, private, and also SMSF and, and wealth creation. So that's been a great story. And that's a, a story of someone, as I said, that um, has an, a low degree of sophistication when it comes to financial outcomes. For me, a number of clients have really appreciated the process that you've gone through to help them understand what retirement can look like and can they achieve it. Because a lot of people are really worried about that moment in time when the income stops, they're now going to fend for themselves how they're going to do this. So the planning that's been done with the advisors to help people understand, you know, what going through 65, 70, 85, 90 is going to look like, can they financially fall through that period of time has been great. So that's been a big part. And the other part for me is intergenerational things has been able to see how appreciative clients are when you're taking the time to care about their children who are coming through and, and how to start getting them set up for life, protecting their assets. You know, there's risks of obviously separation and all those things. We do a lot around with the team about putting in place uh, asset protection, which is, which is very important when you're transitioning wealth to kids and parents' reaction when you help out their kids is priceless. Our position's very, very clear that they can't exist independent of each other. If you think you're servicing a client um, to the greatest outcome for them and you're not offering both an accounting, taxation and wealth piece, you're simply underestimating or, you know, underservicing exactly what they need. So for me, the interaction, the work we do leading up to 30 June every year with our accounting team and our financial planning team in ensuring 
the right superannuation, the right taxation and the right structures are in place is probably the biggest and most proactive piece of work we do for our client base every year. So it's a very, very clear model for us that unless you are going to be clearly working, not spasmodically, but on a day-to-day -day basis with your wealth creation team, you are not going to provide the best outcomes for your clients. Clients work really hard to build wealth. Simple as that. They run a business, they work a lot of them 60, 70 hour weeks in it. Their whole families are often involved and committed to it. So they put a lot of time into building wealth. If we stop there, then I don't think we're doing them a full service because once they create that base level of wealth, the more that that can grow, it protects their future, protects their family, protects their retirement. So knowing that we can help them do that, use strategies to minimize tax, get them set up on their business side, and then our partner's wealth team comes in to actually help them grow that asset make sure it's invested in the right way to achieve the outcomes they want and the goals they want for their family. For me, that's the perfect mix. Otherwise, we're sort of stopping halfway and clients really appreciate it when we take that extra step to make sure that their futures are going to be secure as well.